Now I'm going to show you a dollar store LED light pack. These are the cheap one dollar garden lights, path lights from the dollar store. And I bought these for the purpose of making some uh, different projects. Today I'm going to make a solar battery charger. Now these of course already are a solar battery charger but the batteries that come with these are very weak so these are not designed to charge your high-end camera type batteries so what we're going to do is take a couple of these solar cells and string them together so first we remove this little twist and that top comes off we can put this part away put this to the side for now and now we take this apart okay now I have my garden light opened this one was part of the reason I chose to dissect this is it's not very bright in the first place so I figured I could put it to better use for a dollar I have some very good parts here I have well a cheap LED I have a solar cell which I cannot get for a dollar anywhere for that price and I have a battery but the batteries as I say but the batteries in these are 600 milliamp hours 600 milliamp hours is not very much energy now your normal AAA, these are, happen to be AAA battery chargers your normal AAA battery is about maybe 1500 to 2000 milliamp hours so if you were to take this as it is to try to charge one of your high powered batteries it will take three four days well I don't want to wait for three four days to charge my batteries so I'm going to take this apart and make a high powered battery charger with a bunch of these now first I'm just going to take off everything from here we can break these wires off of the circuit board because we're going to use the solar cell. Just wiggle it carefully with your fingernails on the edge of the board. And these come off very well. Put that aside. Now there's a little screw holding this in place. We take this off. And same with the circuit board. Um, I might want to use that later, so I'm going to cut the wires so I have enough to use for something else. And the LED we can put aside for later. Now what we have is a socket for a AA battery and we have a solar cell. The next step, I'm going to strip the wires and I'm going to connect these, but I'm going to connect multiple of these parallel. So I'm going to go outside and find a piece of wood and put these on a nice board, screw everything down so it looks nice, and then we can set this out in the sun to charge. Okay. Now you got to strip these wires off. Be very careful you see you don't break the wire. Be very gentle unless you have a proper wire stripping tool. These are very fine wires, and you don't want to rip it out of the solar cell. Now I've got my board, and I've got my four solar cells stripped off. What I'll do now is I'm going to take one of these, because these lined up nicely before. The original holes in these were like this, so I'm going to be able to screw my solar panels down to the board. So I'll use this as a marker. You see the panels, the cells will go like this. And I'll mark the holes where I'll drill through the wood. And then I can screw into the original solar cells. Now I've got my holes 
for drilling. Now I'll drill them out so I can mount the solar cells onto the board. Now I've got the solar cells attached. Now what I'm doing is putting on the battery sockets. I've marked and punched the holes with my Leatherman so I can put them in easier. Well, I'd like to be able to charge either one battery very fast or if I want to charge two batteries then of course it'll take twice as long. To have the ability to charge one battery is great because all these flashlights we get today come with three triple A's and it's so awkward to try to charge three batteries at one time in an average standard battery charger because they only take two and then you always have one battery going bad on you because I use rechargeables for everything Now I'm cutting some wire pieces. I've tied the negatives together here and here. The positive lines are too short. These are going to be run in parallel. Everything in parallel with each other. So all the minus to minus, plus to plus, all across the board. So I'll solder these in a few minutes. My soldering iron is heating up over here. I have a power inverter running my soldering iron. I am off the grid. It's still very much light outside. It's getting dark inside because I'm in the forest. Let's see if we can get this done before it's too dark to at least just demonstrate. Now I've got my positives and minus wires hooked up. I just want to see if the wires are labeled correctly. There should be enough light coming in here for me to get some voltage out of this meter. I don't know if you'll be able to see the meter, but I just want to make sure there's... Yes, it is wired correctly. I have 2.59 volts open voltage on this. And that's in relative shade, so that'll be fine. Now, I've wired in a diode right here. I almost forgot to do so. The diode allows the voltage to go one way so that we charge the batteries, but don't allow the batteries to discharge back through the solar cells later if clouds pass over or if we don't bring it in at night. This will allow me to leave this out at night and not worry about it for the next day. So now I've got all my wires, there's my plus to plus to plus to plus, everything's parallel. All parallel together. So the current from all the solar cells will be added together and put into the batteries. Also the minus, all parallel, everything's parallel. Now this is off-grid power. Everything here is off the grid. The energy that's powering this soldering iron is from the sun.
Make sure we got all the solder joints. Shut off the soldering iron and we'll take it outside. Now I had to come way out in the outside to a rock to find some sunlight because there's shade everywhere. Let me turn on my voltmeter and let me measure here. I hope you can see this. I'm going to measure one of my batteries. This is my batteries out of my old home phone that I don't use anymore. That's 0.4 volts. Very low. And this one is oh really bad not registering now our open voltage now these are all the same everything's parallel so our open voltage on the solar cells right now which is backwards we have open voltage of 3.02 volts So now I'll put in my batteries and they should immediately start charging. And the voltage should be lower as the batteries absorb the energy. So now we have 0.35 volts and it should start rising 3.36, 3.7. See, this is charging the batteries as you watch. The voltage is going up quite rapidly actually 